So with the invention of Google Maps, it's becoming harder and harder for the powers that be to maintain their evil secrets. But that's not gonna stop them from trying. My name is AJ. I'm James. And these are the, the top, top 10 <laughs> most, <laughs> most things. Okay, okay, hold okay. on. My name is AJ. I'm James. And these are the top, top 10, 10 most mysterious things, things seen on Google, Google Street View, View that they tried, tried to, to hide, hide from, from you. You, like you just did like every thing. other one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Starting at number 10 with the man in the trunk. So I think this image here pretty much sums up the word mystery. Just like what in God's name is going on here? The two questions that kind of jump out to you here is one, why is there a man in the trunk of a car? And two, why is he At least I imagine that's what you think looking at this image at first. I have a hard time imagining people's eyes don't immediately land on dude in the trunk. However, as you scan around the picture further and attempt to piece this whole thing together, there are a number of other questions that come to mind. What is the mess laying next to the car? What's in the jug next to the car? Is that dog just laying down or is it dead? And if it's not dead, then why does it not seem bothered by the new dude climbing out of the car? There's really a lot going on in this image and if I happen to catch myself on Google in this state, I'd probably not want the picture going public either. At number nine is this unexcavated pyramid in Egypt. Google Earth captured a peculiar image in Egypt that stirred up quite the debate. A mysterious formation that some people think might be an, an unexcavated pyramid. Yeah, you heard that right. A potential pyramid hiding in plain sight. Now here's the deal, there have been a ton of these strange findings in Egypt using Google Earth recently, but here's where it gets interesting. Experts aren't entirely sure if these anomalies are natural rock formations or actual human made structures. The thing is, we need more digging, pun intended, to know for sure, but there's a snag. You see, Egypt's not all smooth sailing when it comes to security and money stuff, which makes it tricky to carry out big excavations. So for now, this supposed unexcavated pyramid remains a mystery. Is it a hidden treasure or just nature playing tricks on us? Well, only time and more exploration will spill the beans. At number eight, we have the army of scarecrows. So imagine, if you will, being lost in rural Finland. You're stumbling around at night, trudging through the woods, until you finally happen across a road. You're incredibly relieved. And then you notice something. Cast in the moonlight are the shapes of human figures. You call out to them for help, only to realize that for one, they're not responding to you, and two, they haven't moved a muscle. Then you come to the alarming realization you're staring at an army of scarecrows. I don't know about you, but there may be part of me that would think I just walked into the twilight zone or something. So at first glance, these Google Street View images in Finland may seem like a whole bunch of people standing in a field, staring at the road as the Google van drives by snapping pictures, which would be incredibly creepy on its own. It turns out though, these are all scarecrows. Still very creepy. I mean, scarecrows always have a bit of an eerie vibe about them, don't they? Uh, even a, a whole army now of them? Even worse. The main question here is why? Who needs this many scarecrows? Is this field just being overrun with crows? And if so, is an army of scarecrows the answer to that situation? There's like no room for any crops which is the whole point in having scarecrows in the first place. These images just give me cult vibes. It's very midsummer, and I don't like it. At number seven is the Boneyard at um, Davis Mountain Air Force Base in Arizona. Ever hear of the Davis Mountain Air Force Base in Arizona? I'd probably not. It's this huge parking lot for old military planes. Imagine this, there's a massive space covering 2,600 acres filled with planes that the military has flown since way back in WW2. It's a lot of history just sitting there. It's called the Boneyard and it's closed off to regular folks, but Google Earth managed to snap some pretty sharp pictures of it. You can almost see every type of plane just sitting there rusting away, like a real life museum, but not the type that you could visit. Oh, and fun fact, Tom Petty's learning to fly music video video was actually shot in this boneyard. So these old planes might have made it onto the spotlight, but unless your name is Tom Petty, I don't think the authorities will be letting you check this place out anytime soon. So feel free to enjoy it from the convenience of Google Maps. Or can we try to rush it like Area 51 again? I mean, that went well, right? Number six, the submerged car. So this is actually a case where Google Maps proved useful in solving a missing persons case. It's uh, not a happy ending. 
but it did, it did provide closure to families and friends. In 2019, a submerged car was spotted in a pond on Google Maps in Wellington, Florida. The vehicle was visible in the satellite imagery, leading to the discovery of a missing persons case. The car belonged to a man named William Moult, who went missing in 1997. So this case was over 20 years old. The discovery was made by a resident who was using Google Earth to survey the area, but they spotted something off. The satellite images showed what looked to be a car submerged in a pond behind a housing development. Authorities were of course alerted and yeah, there they found a car. The vehicle matched the description of William Moult's missing 1994 Saturn SL and inside said car was the skeletal remains of William Moult. At number five is the pentagram in Kazakhstan. Here's a weird thing spotted in Google Street View, a giant pentagram just sitting in a field in Kazakhstan. Yeah, you heard that right. This massive five-pointed star with a circle around it, carved into the earth, spanning about 1,200 feet across. Like something out of a mystery novel or a supernatural flick. People on the internet lost their minds over this finding, thinking it concealed dark stuff like devil worship or secret cults, but apparently the story behind it isn't that sinister. As it turns out, it's actually just so happens to be a park that's shaped like a star. The lines of the star are made of roads, and over time, trees got planted along these roads, making the star pattern pop up even more in, in aerial shots. So the spooky pentagram that seemed all mysterious and hidden? Just a misunderstood park design. Or so the authorities claim, but let's be real, y'all. Can they really be trusted? At number four, we have clowns. So clowns, not favored by some folks. I think most folks don't favor them, to be honest. They have kind of an uncanny valley vibe about them that makes a lot of folks uneasy. At least you usually know where clowns are going to pop up so you can avoid them if they're just not your cup of tea. I say usually though because clowns have been known to show up in places where they shouldn't and one of these places is apparently in Google Street View where there are no visible carnivals, birthday parties or other clown related events taking place. Take this image of a clown brandishing a knife while staring straight into the camera or how about this image? It looks to be the infamous Pennywise the Clown lurking in a storm drain. Ah, oh, Pennywise, you weird, weird man. <laughs> man. Looting holes in Syria. In Syria, the civil war caused serious damage to historical places. This Ampama, Am, 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 Apamea, an ancient Roman city, got hit really hard. If you check Google Earth, you'll see something odd, as this place looked like it got poked with a ton of holes. By nature, some natural accident. No, they're from looters. People dug up these holes in this cool ancient city. Now, Emma Cunlife, an archaeology smarty pants from Dunherm from Dunham, yeah, from Dunham University in England talked about it, saying that it looked like the surface of the moon, but instead of craters, it's these poles that people made. In just eight months, these sneaky looters dug up, dug up more area than all the legit excavations combined. Satellite images spilled the beans on this secret digging party, and sadly, this is just one of the many places wrecked by the war in Syria. It's a real bummer seeing history getting messed up like that. In its second place, we have the giant pink bunny. In Italy, an incredibly peculiar sighting on Google Maps was spotted, a massive pink stuffed bunny lying in a field. The giant bunny was around 200 feet long, laying in a field in the northern part of Italy, near the town of Prato. Suffice to say, people were pretty baffled. What was this bunny used for? Where did it come from? Why was it hanging out in the middle of nowhere? No one had a clue. It was this crazy mystery, and for a while, this bunny kind of became a local celeb. Folks from all around flocked to check it out. They'd sit on it and take pictures beside it, but one day it was just gone. And everyone started crying to the heavens, pleading with whatever otherworldly force they believed in to bring the bunny back. But till this day, the pink rabbit has not made another appearance, and it may never. I'm sorry to disappoint. Even more morbid abandoned launch sites at Ahua Defense Area in Hawaii. Ever hear of the Ahua Defense Area in Hawaii? Probably not. It's got some pretty cool history that might surprise you. See, back in the late 1950s and 1970s, this place was home to Nike missiles. No, not the shoes. These were supersonic missiles designed for air defense during the Cold War era. They were like high-tech protectors ready to launch and defend against potential threats. Picture this, open-air launch sites with some powerful missiles just waiting for action. Some of these missiles even had nuclear warheads. But as technology advanced, these Nike missiles, I love saying that, became outdated, replaced 
replaced by bigger, better intercontinental ballistic missiles. Now this dude named David, a map expert, is on a mission to hunt down the- <laughs> on a, <laughs> Is on a mission to document these abandoned missile sites. He wants to create a detailed database on Google Earth so that everybody can check out these spots from the past. The Ahua Defense Area from 1968 is one of those spots. It's a snapshot frozen in time showing how these missile launch sites were set up back in the day. <laughs> What's some of the strangest stuff you've seen on Google Maps? Let us know in the comments below. I've been your host, James. And I'm AJ. And we'll catch, catch you, you in the next, in the next one. one. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> shark. Love a good aerial <laughs> shark. Tuberski. Turks. Turksbury. Tau. Now, this dude named David, a map expert, is on a mission to hunt down. <laughs>